Gavin Holmes is going to be speaking to us. And Gavin is the CEO of Trade Guider and was taught to trade by veteran syndicate trader Tom Williams. He appears in many industry competitions and events and has written two books, Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money and The Complete DSA System Explained. Now, today, Gavin's going to be talking about his favorite topic, which is trading in the market's footsteps. You're going to learn in this presentation what to focus on or what the professional money is doing, how to focus on that, how to uncover the true market sentiment before you invest, and how to use volume spread analysis for high probability trades. We're talking about a technique that I think is going to be very, very popular in the current trading environment, which we know is so highly volatile. And with that, hi, Gavin. How are you doing, my friend? I'm very good. Uh, broadcasting live. Um, my video doesn't work, but uh, I'm broadcasting live from the New Forest National Park in the south of England, uh, which is right on the south coast. Uh, I'm in a trade at the moment uh, that we're trading, um, which, which is an obvious setup. So I was going to do a PowerPoint presentation, but it's much easier to show you the trade because, <laughs> you know, you said don't do any videos, Rolly. You said, you know, we don't want videos. Fine. The best way to learn to trade is to look at the market, look at the volume, look at the price action and look at what the market's doing. And, you know, I, I'm trading a sizable account, not just for myself, but for, for, for our um. Well, I won't say anything. I can't say anything, but it's a sizable account. So okay. I'm going to I'm going to go straight into the screen if I can. So we're yes. in this parade um, and just want to say hello to obviously to Pat and to Jeanette. Uh, hi. Hi there. Hey, Gavin. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's good. Um, always Thank enjoy these you. events. And uh, we, 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 we do get a lot of really good results from this. So let's go straight to the screen. I, I'm not. I'm right. just, just, you go. OK, so you should see a trade here. It's on the 6E. OK, it's the, the euro. And I'm scalping this and I'm going to put up my live account. So we're completely clear that, that we're trading this live. OK, and you can see I'm only trading a small account here, although on the bigger account, we've got a much bigger size on. I just want to be clear that where we've entered is where the stop is now. It, I can't lose money unless I get a really bad fill. But I want to show you the setups because that's what people want to learn. That, that It's all well and good looking in the past and saying this and this and this. But this is volume. And volume spread analysis is a very key part of what we do. Now, why is the market falling? Well, it started up here, which I'll explain. And you've just seen an indication here. It's just come in, okay? This is part of the proprietary system that we operate. And it says weakness has appeared. Now, how, how can that be? Why is the market falling when weakness has appeared as the market moved up? Well, you're watching this live. This, this, this is not a PowerPoint, okay? This is not me going back in time and saying, ah, you see, I did that, I did that, I did that. No, I'm in this trade. And why I really enjoy working with Rolly and the team is sometimes, I mean, I prepared last night a big PowerPoint presentation and Rolly emailed me, he said, well, don't use video in the presentation. I said, okay, I, I won't do that. Um, I said, it would be much better if I sh showed a live trade. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Today it did. Okay. Now, I've got three different accounts open at this, at this moment in time. So let me manage this trade through for all of you, because that's what you want to learn. Why is this here the catalyst for this fall? Which it is. And it says in our software, a buying climax. Now look at the volume. Okay, that is your key. The volume is enormous. And what we see is it, it, it happens as the market moves up. So a lot of traders get long here. But here is your clue. No demand, no interest. That's why I went short. Now, this sends me an email alert from the system. 
I don't have to watch this. The, 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 the system tells me what's going on. So now I've, I've got my position on. Let me just put the uh, dome up. Here. Okay. Now, this is a one lot trade. Okay. This is... This is not a big trade for many of you who are trading smaller accounts. You know, already 243.75. This is my live account. This is not a demo account. Okay. Be clear on this. This is a setup. And whilst I was really keen to show you the whole PowerPoint presentation, this this set set up today. And we've traded it in in, well, not just one account, three accounts. Now, I've got one lot here on a small account, but what I want to show you is what's just happening right now. Now, we've just had here an upthrust. Now, you look at that knowledge, you'll, well, you'll look at that as SOW10 upthrust. What the hell does that mean? And what it means is the market is pushed up on high volume, which it did. And now I, I would expect this to happen around the London fix, which is when we're doing this, the markets start whipsawing, which is, which is what commonly happens. So I've already got my stop to break even. Now, how do you manage a trade? I wait for the market to break the low. Okay, so I've got all my signs of weakness. Now, you'll notice that these signs of weakness, they call, you know, SOW is not a female pig here. It's a sign of weakness. And it, it's a sow. And it, it's doing exactly what it says. It's showing us supply and demand. And at the moment, supply is overcoming demand. And it has done for the last few hours. So the most important thing to do is manage the position. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. Um, and again, I'm not going to use my PowerPoint. I'm going to go straight to the live screen here. Okay, so what I'm going to now do, and we'll just move that away. There we go. I'm going to start locking in profit. Okay, and 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 again, my apologies that I'm not using the PowerPoint. I think live trading with these indicators showing you the market movements are much more valuable than going back on a PowerPoint and saying, oh, well, that is this and this. If you want information, we're going to give it to you at the end for nothing. There is no sales pitch here at all, okay? You will get uh, access to our free resource center, which has videos showing you these setups. And that I don't want a penny from anyone, nothing, not, not, not anything. You have to find what we do. I've always believed in this. So <clears throat> we're going to manage this trade through. Okay. Yeah, John. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Take, take, yeah, take that off. Take that trade off. That's perfect. That's a great profitable trade. Okay. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to lock in this. And this is now the position. It's only one lot, not a big lot. But where I've got the, the trade on uh, was well up here. But, but now I'm expecting us to break this low. Okay. And the reason is this. The weakness. Now, you cannot ignore these indicators. And, and where, where this all started, ironically, was up here. But I talk in my book, Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money, about what we call the mushroom effect of a chart. Here we go. Right, I'm going to have to, sorry, I'm going to have to go straight to this because I've got this on. Oh, crikey, this is really moving quick. All right. So I'm going to just manage it on the small uh, account, but I'm managing this on two other accounts. Okay, this, this could be a massive trade. Uh, and you can go and look at your charts. Okay, now I'm going to lock in another 50% here. I'm going to do that on the... Jared, can you, can you, yeah, yeah, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, yep, perfect, okay, so <clears throat> let's, let's watch this, so we, we've got a trade on, um, 
let's go straight through to the chart. And now we're going to see what's going on. Now, this happens very frequently after what we call the London fix, which, which is happening now. Now, I, I've still got this PowerPoint, but I'm probably not going to be able to show you it because here's the setups. Weakness, when it appears, appears on these up moves like this. OK, this is a one minute chart and I'm using something which is a, a strategy that we use in our software called Super Scalper. Now, you can see the amount of movement that we've got. We could get another big move. And that's why I'm not going to go to the PowerPoint right now. I've got a seriously big position at the moment in our fund, which, which could, could be massive. Now, watch where this bar closes. Now, that's the most important bar. It's closed level on quite high volume. If this next bar closes lower than that, this thing will tank and it will, it will go, okay? And these are the most important things to learn about volume spread analysis. Weakness, when it appears, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to, sorry, I'm gonna have to go back to the, to the other screen here because that's moving real quick. Okay. So I'll just put that back up, that's fine. Okay, good. Just, just manage it on the other screen here. Yep. So, so what we're seeing is some buying. Now, that's what volume spread analysis is all about. It's buying and selling. It's supply and demand. The supply came in here. Look at the volume on these bars. As it went up, the supply, the sellers came in and they showed their hands, and they have to show their hands because they can't hide in the volume. Now, some of the things that we teach in our strategy documents, which I'll give you access to, is the best place to start shorting the market is in these areas, okay? When you're in a downtrend and you get these indications of weakness, and when we say SOW, it means sign of weakness. That's important. But the most important part of trading, in my opinion, is you get your stop to break even and then to profit. And why is that important? And why do I do these trades live? Very straightforward. I don't get stressed with trading. It's not a stressful business. It doesn't have to be. Okay. Um, I'm getting some, so I'm getting alerts now from our trading team telling me that what's going to happen in certain instruments. But here, what we're going to look for, and I'm still reluctant to go to the, the PowerPoint chart, is what we call no demand, which will be no interest in higher prices. So the market will try to push up, the volume will diminish. And I will add to the position in both other accounts. So we'll just watch this. So, so Rolly, is there any questions? Because I can't see them on the other screen. But if there's if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them. But here we're sure everything's rolling. It's going down, and we're looking for what we call no demand. Sure. Yeah, Gavin. Uh, so there, there's an awful lot of interest in in the chart that you're actually showing there, and we know you're managing a trade. So we don't want to interfere. But for example, you've got these two parallel bars on either side of the histogram there that are, you know, there's red and green and red. And and are those visual indicators confirmations for you as you're also in this trade, along with the volume? So I'm going to put up a smart center pro, which is what I'm using. Okay. Now, when the market's moving, it's moving in multiple time frames. Okay. So it's not moving in one time frame. Um, you can see here in the euro, if I put up Smart Center Pro and look at everything that's lined up, ask the audience, would you be short or long here? Ask them. <laughs> yeah. what, what, I mean, I mean, it's not it's not rocket science. But, uh, <laughs> what, oh, what, yeah. do, 
what what are they saying? I mean, short. I'm, short. Yeah. I'm short. Yeah, I'm short. And, and, I, and I'm making some very good money right now. But uh, what do you see in the time frames? Now, we've got one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute. And then I've even gone out to the 15, the 60, the four hour and the daily. Uh, if if you're a pilot of of a, of a of a an aircraft right and you're looking at your instruments and this and i know because i've been mentoring some pilots recently and I, and they they are very into okay well i need to have the exact situation with with the aircraft it's got to do this it's got to do that i said well look there is what would you do would you be long and you'd be, you'd, you'd be surprised, actually, how people get that wrong. I go, everything's red. <laughs> why, why, why would you think of going long? It's not there yet. Yet. It will come. I, I guarantee you'll get a buy signal. But look, look at the one minute. Look at the two minute. Look at the three minute. Look. And, and, and then we go back to the same situation you manage the trade so you've taken the trade which again i, I forgive me for not using the powerpoint but I, I don't care this is much better than, than than using a powerpoint and we look at where we're at okay we, we've got profit we've made money okay we're still in the trade there's no reason to execute uh and say i've 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 met my profit target i haven't i've got no profit target and this is a great situation where I, once I've got my stop after the entry through break even and through to profit, I, I let it run. Why wouldn't you? This, this could go to five hundred dollars. Sure. And 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 the, the, the you know, uh, I, I I look at the PowerPoint that I was going to present today. There's there's nothing else I need to say here. This is what it's all about. It's about making money. It's about trading. It's about executing. It's about understanding the logic behind it. And then trading a live account. That's a live account. Okay, this is not funny money. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the other thing is, I don't like going into hindsight where you say, well, if I'd have done that last week, this would have happened. I, I don't like to do that. Sure. Um, so, so Gavin, one question just popped in here is, is the system that you're using right now just for day trading or can you use it for swing trading or longer period trading? Absolutely. hundred percent. It, it works in multiple time frames, and I, I don't have time to show that today, but I am going to do a webinar for all of your customers next week where I'm going to show investment trading. We, we have a lot of investors that trade long-term now, that was a really good question, Rolly, because people say, OK, this, you know, you're showing this on a one minute chart. OK, wonderful. Does that work on a weekly chart? Yes, 100 percent. And if you go to tradeguider.com and you, in, or, or you, you go to volumespreadanalysis.com, you'll find out why it works that way. And the reason it does, and I, and I got very confused with this 20 years ago when I started this, and the reason I got confused with it was I said, well, to Tom, who taught me, who unfortunately passed away, he said, well, it has to work that way, Gav, because you're dealing with supply and demand. And it has to work in any time the markets are open, as we're seeing right now, we're on a one minute time frame. Supply or, or demand will take control. And on a weekly chart, if you get one of those indicators that I've just shown you on a weekly chart, in two years' time, you'll get a very serious move. But it's a weekly time frame. It might take 12 weeks to, to start to materialize. I'm on a one-minute chart, and I'm and I'm making money and I'm happy and 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 the fund's making money, but you can see why it works. And the key is the distribute now i want to talk about this um i'm not going to use the powerpoint because i think it's pointless the fact is we're looking at a chart and we've got a stop to a profitable area based on logic and the logic is what we have to learn as traders 
because a lot of the times that we trade, the logic is irrelevant. It means that you're giving, you're, you're getting false information about the market. This instrument showed weakness. Okay, and I'll, I'll go back to the chart so that we can make sure that we're all on the same page here. It showed weakness, a one minute chart. There was the one that, that, that came in. Okay, we've just had another instrument here, the up thrust. Okay. Now, what I, I think a lot of the questions I often get asked is, well, hold on a second. If the market's going up like this on all this volume, that has to be buying, doesn't it, Gavin? And, and I did a demo to some bankers this morning, and these bankers were saying, well, you know, yeah, the market's definitely going up. I said, no, I'm going to short this. Now, the problem comes in what you see after it okay what you see after what happens I, I think i just got a film so I, I i've made profit there because it's popped up and the reason it's popped up stopping volume software's dead on has to be so um let's have a quick look at what what we did there and i'll just put it up 218 bucks okay on that account and it's also filled on the others ultimately we look at the volume. Now, why is volume important? And this is this is something that this morning when I had this presentation that I did, these guys did, did not understand volume analysis at all. They're like, well, we, we, we never use volume. Did we? There's no, there's no relevance in volume. And I said, well, there is. And we'll now look at why. So a one minute chart, okay? We're gonna just take the one minute chart. Now the market goes up here. And I'll ask the audience, what do you notice about the volume on that one minute bar? Just, I mean, Rolly, you can you just tell me, what do they say? What do they notice about the volume on that particular bar? Just low. Here. The, the current bar that's forming right now. Not, not this one here, this one here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the volume is extreme. Correct. It's still, this is still going to go down, by the way. But anyway, so it's extremely high and it's on an up move. So it's moved for 15 to 20 minutes on an up move. Now, that is not the place you short. You, you, you cannot short that. Can anyone tell me why? Why would you not be short on that bar? It's got a red indicator. And, and again, Rolly, you can you can just let me know what they say. Why would you not short that? Huh, that's a good question. Looking, let me see what people say, because the volume's starting to fall off. Okay, there's something else, which is more important. <laughs> Why would you not short that? Some people look at think that's an area of resistance, so it would be an area to support. Let's see here. The market hasn't changed its behavior. Right. Not sure the move is done yet. Volume is still flowing in. There's a divergence. Trend is up above the EMA, above the MA line. Those are the that's the stuff that's coming in. The the comment that came in, it said the market hasn't changed behavior. Yes. Is is the key. <clears throat> okay. What is the trending system telling us here after this? about the trend of price. The trend is still up, right? Yes. Yeah. So so if you if you're going to short that and you're going to go I think on the 1 minute chart I've I've nailed this because I'm smart, you haven't. Because the market's still moving higher because they're distributing. But where does the market start to change behavior? David Weiss, the late David Weiss, talk, talked about this and I spent many seminars with him, both online and live, about the change in behavior. And this is, and, and even now we're, we're seeing some more action at, at the right edge of the chart. But where it changed behavior is when the trending system in our system told me that the market is moving, and, and I called it in my book, the mushrooming over 
of of the chart so so it's like a it, it's it, it is a mushroom really so you you look at it and you go here and it's mushrooming over and i get short and i make money okay now how many times could you have made money in this short on a one minute chart there's one there there's one there and and i get emails by the way that that, that, that tell me okay this is this is time to 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 get short here and again here and then here which I just showed you, and it went down, and it's gone back up. And now it's not surprising that there is um, a, a, a static move uh, uh, to the side because the London fix, now if you don't know what that is, it's the LIBOR fix. Okay, and what, what, what that basically means is that the banks in England um, and Europe, they set their interest rates. For the next day and it's been highly um manipulated now i'm I, I might well take another trade here so i'm just gonna okay, let me just go to the other screen here now oh, this is really close so this is on what i call a trigger number and a trigger number which you'll again i'll show you how you can get the trading plan for this is what we do is we look at an area of resistance here and how the market reacts to it okay now we can see a reaction here we can see a reaction here okay that's why we got red indicators okay i'm just waiting for the trigger just bear with me and so and gavin once again just below your mouse pointer there. You see the parallel bar there that was red and it just turned to green. Is that the aggregate signal of all the time frames? Is that so, what you were? No. So so basically here on the one minute chart, Boeing entered the market here. I'm assuming you're talking about that mark that that bar there. No, I, you, no, 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 no. Excuse me. I'm talking about the uh, horizontal bars that are there. See, there's a period. There's an area of red, and then there's an area of green just above. Uh, the VSA, top and bottom, there are two parallel bars that are running sideways from left to right. So, so sorry, just to be clear, Rolly, you're talking about here and here, correct? These two? No, drop your drop your mouse lower, 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 yeah. lower, 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 yeah. lower. You're just mm -hmm. above it. See that red band? There's a there's a it's, a it's a horizontal line. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, right here, correct? Where it nope. changed? Nope, nope. Okay. So I want to reach into the screen and show you. Uh, it's right up. It's right above the volume pane at the bottom. There, there is a horizontal bar there, and it's there's a lot of red in it, and it just turned green. Hmm. You're talking about this level here, correct? Yeah. It's. Uh, I'm having a hard time explaining myself. Yeah. I guess maybe that's VSA volume is what that is. Um, cause I'm looking at the VSA volume chart and I see the bars that are there, but on the top and below it, there are these two horizontal bars that are running in parallel. Yeah. And it looks like it's like a, it looks to me like it's just a big, like a big, um, a trend, a trend, like it's, it's if you come all the way down. It's like a big, thick trend of we're bearish. Then we're bullish. We're bearish. Then we're bullish. It's the big, thick line. It looks like a piece of tape. Yeah, it's above and below your scroll all just take take your mouse down, 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 go down, keep going down, down, down. further. Nope, keep going. Keep going down further. Get out of the chart. Get out of the chart and go Get out of down. the chart. Like your mouse is on top of it almost. Yeah. You must not be seeing what we're seeing then. Yeah. No, it's the TGVSA volume four seven. It's just above where it says that on the left side. Go to the left side of your screen. Okay. I'll pay all, right, it, go all yeah. the way down down keep going down get off the chart go out get off get below that yeah go all the way down mm -hmm. are you down as far as what you can see because yep. we can see below that we can see a big thick red and green line okay what price what price are you seeing right now it's not it's not pro we're not talking about price we're talking about looks like a big it's like a big trend zone you're talking about this area here correct uh well you keep dragging your mouse over right a little bit higher than that right there oh oh <laughs> It's running from it's 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 it, yeah it's a horizontal it's a big thick horizontal line that's just above your volume pane there anyway it anyway. It, it looks like a cool indicator and I, and it, <laughs> it, 
and it looked to me like it was an aggregate of all your time. Anyway, it's a very interesting looking bar. <laughs> it's above yeah. and below your stochastic. Yeah, above yeah. and below stochastic. Yeah, and, and and let let me just say that this this is going to go short again right now. Um, okay. And and the, and the re again, I I'll, I'll do the one minute analysis, and uh, then we can take some questions. But I'm not sure exactly. I mean, the the background of the chart is important, but when I do the background analysis, I use a sixty minute chart. Okay. So I'm, okay. I'm I, I I don't use the one minute chart for background analysis ever, at all. So what I'll do is I'll use a, a 60 minute chart. I'll put the pointer on and I'll look at the last indicator of weakness that came in. And that's why I shorted. OK. All right. Now, there's a few things here that um, and, and I'm, I'm sorry if I, if I didn't quite <clears throat> get the right areas here, but this this will explain it. So everyone, I'll ask you the question, where's the highest volume on the chart that you can all see? Everyone. Where's the highest volume that you can see on this chart? And again, Rolly, you can you can just sure, it. yeah. It's I mean, people are just looking right at that eleven o'clock period there, the big blue bar going up. Okay, so this one here, yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll ask the audience another question: Is it on an up move or a down move? It's on an up move. Okay. Did the market continue to go up? Yes or no? No, 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 no. I've got my line on the top of this. We actually shorted it up here. But look in here and here, right? Weakness has appeared. And then you go three hours ago, supply entered the market but it's on an up move it has to be that way because you can't sell something and make a profit unless you mark it up that's why it's falling right now i've made a very nice three nice trades here and you can see the market collapsing and i'm not even going to go to the powerpoint pointless because from my from my perspective you either see this or you don't. And this is how VSA works. Now, there is something that's quite important to keep in mind, that in order to make a profit, markets have to be manipulated. And if you read Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money, which we'll give you access to, you'll understand I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all. I'm an ex-policeman. But I realised very early on in my trading career years ago that the markets move on supply and demand and then i realized that the news is very useful to encourage traders to make the wrong decision mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, i know rolly and, and i've known each other a long time sure <laughs> and, yeah and, and and i might sound like i'm a conspiracy theorist i'm not what I do know, and what I've always, when I was a former detective, was I look at the evidence, and I have a very fortunate surname in the name of Holmes, H-O-L-M-E-S, like Sherlock. And that's quite useful, because when I look at charts, as I'm looking at this right now, yet again, I know it's going down. Now, <clears throat> the word no means that you're certain. And that becomes an issue for traders because there's no certainty in trading, right? But I know that's going down. I've already made my money. I'm, I'm done for the day. But the market's moving lower. Now, the reason it's mo moving lower is very obvious on the bigger time frames. And I'll, I'll go back to this. I'll go to the four-hour chart. Now, this and this here, which you can see, are very serious, I call them serious, signs of weakness. Now, when we look at this, the market's gone up. And I watch Bloomberg and I watch CNBC and I, I, I don't like to watch them, but I've got no choice because I, I, I do need to figure out what's trying to go on 
in the markets, but also the big distribution happened up here. But most traders, and I'd say, nine, uh, well, I, I think Rolly said 99% could be true, just don't get this. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what they see is a big move up on a four-hour time frame. And they, 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 they buy. Look at what's happening right now in front of your own eyes. The, the PowerPoint is gone. I'm not even going to use it. <laughs> oh, because, damn it. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, spent, I spent 24 hours putting this together. <laughs> you need to send it to me just so I have it for the archive. No, 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 no. no. This, this, the, the evidence, uh, again, I'm uh, talking as a policeman here. The evidence is in what you see. Okay. And what you see, it, and sometimes it doesn't happen. So I've always got the PowerPoint because the market doesn't always do what it's doing. But I was pretty certain it was going to do this, which is why, yeah, yeah I was pretty sure. Um, and then and then you've got the trade, you've seen a live trade. And, and mo- most importantly, you're seeing the market reacting to the weakness here in the background. Now, th- 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 this is quite important. Why, why would I need to have a piece of software to, to find these setups? Okay. And this is, this is tanking right now. Why? The very simple reason is this. Scanning. We are scanning all of the futures markets that you see, 35,000 stocks for these setups. Okay. And, and we're, we're, we're seeing the market moving because we can see the weakness. And when I said that it was gonna come down here, that was no, there was no doubt, I've already taken my profits. I'm not greedy. I don't <clears throat> get into a, oh, crikey, I could have taken more money out the market. It would have been brilliant. I don't mind. Every single day, <clears throat> if I make a few percent, fine. Now, <clears throat> if we analyze the um, four hour chart, here, there's something that happened. It was a federal announcement, which of course you all knew about, but that was the key for me on the four hour chart. <clears throat> and it, excuse me, one of Tom's favorite setups. Why? Why? Look at the volume on the up move and then look at the very next bar. Okay. There's no volume to the upside. There's no interest. There's no order flow. Now, that's not difficult to read. But then you wait for the reaction, which is why I've traded it yesterday and today. And what we get is the trap. Now, once you understand this in your your, your mind, you go, oh, I get that. So they're marking it up. There's no demand, which means there's no interest to the upside because there's no volume on that bar. On a four-hour chart, you've got a really good trade to the downside, which is happening right now. Now, as I said, with a PowerPoint presentation, you can look at these in hindsight, and they look great. They go, oh, well, look, that was great. That's not the way I like to teach. It's much easier to show you it live. Hence... Yeah, hence, hence I've ditched the PowerPoint. Sorry, Rolly. <laughs> hey, by the way, several of your fans have said, Rolly, you need to ask him about the middle trend tool and the volume thermometer. Yep. Okay. And those were the things that we were trying to draw your attention to because we were just wondering what role they may be playing in looking at your confirmation signals. Okay. Um, good, good questions. <clears throat> so, I've, I've talked about the VSA indicators in the software, the smart center software. I've talked about the red diamonds here. That, that they're basically a short-term trending indicator. But remember, the market is fractal. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so it, 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 you know, it's collapsing right now. Um, we're still short, apparently, in the fund. But we look at these indicators as why is the market falling? Well, the supply comes in, and then these red diamonds are a short-term indicator. So they're saying in the short term. Now, you you, you say, well, what do you mean by short-term, Gavin? You're on a four-hour chart. 
and it's still falling. And this is the problem that I think a lot of people get their heads around. They go, well, short term, well, don't you mean one minute? Don't you mean five minute? Don't you mean 30 minute? No, I mean multiple time frame analysis. And that is what Smart Center does very well. So basically, I can look at 6E and I can see it. And that's why it's collapsing. And if I choose to look at a five minute chart and say, is there any up thrusts or no demands, which are indicators to short? There they are. Now, these are based, and, and so is this at the bottom. It's based on volume analysis based on, I, I don't want to give too much away. I, I can't do that. But it's based on increasing volume and up bars, decreasing volume on down bars, and then a response. The response has happened. Why has it happened? Very simple. Because here is your selling on the federal announcement. Okay, here and here on the very next bar. There you go, the track. Mm -hmm. Now we're moving lower. If you start, to, and this is exactly how I trade it and how I've traded it today, you go down a time frame, you start to see the same pictures. And it's almost like a gallery that you're, you're looking at the picture going downtrend, serious weakness, market moving down. Where do I want to be, short or long? 15-minute chart. Uh, and again, on the 15 minute, similar situation, okay? There's the up thrust, a, a previous area of resistance. Nothing particularly complicated about this. It's supply in the market. They've marked it up and they're now ready to take it down, which is why we're short. Five minute chart absolutely obvious you can see the mushrooming over you can see the reversal bars you can see a two bar reversal and you can see here the supply now a lot of traders just don't get it they go well the market's going up and my macd my stochastic everything says buy especially if they're scalping and you're wrong and i'm proving it to you because this is live i've taken my profits and uh, again, I, I, I've dumped the PowerPoint. It's pointless. This, this will break, by the way. Um, and the reason that, that, that this has to be the way is what's in control of this job. There we go. And we've gone. Okay. And, and this, is, this is very predictable. Very predictable. And where I get a little frustrated, and, and excuse me for that, but I, a little frustrated is, is I, I see a lot of traders losing money because they're buying tops and they're selling the bottoms. It's the wrong way to do it. This is how the markets work. And this is not a PowerPoint. This is live. And this is how the market is moving. And we can see quite clearly, even on the 6E here, which I've already been trading, the market, again, falling lower. But all the principles of volume spread analysis are here. They're, 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 they're not hidden. They're, 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 they're there. They're right in front of you. And I suppose one of the other questions that I know I get asked a lot is, how do I, how do I learn this? How do I how do I get this? Mm -hmm. And and Rolly, you've known me for a long time, okay. And ultimately, we we worked uh, and 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 your team of, of we work together because we want to educate people. Yes. Well, um, <clears throat> my personal belief is that a you want to see someone trading this live, okay. Don't, don't use PowerPoint. Don't use all of that. Even though I prepared it all, it took me twenty four hours. <laughs> This is this is how it works, okay? And then B, you have to do a bit of research. Um, and I'm, I think Rolly and the team do a great job of what they're doing, introducing people to great traders. So that's fine. C, you have to decide what was going to work for you as an individual. Everyone's different. 
And I know that because I, I do, I used to do a lot of mentorship courses to teach people how to make money and trade. And everyone's different. You can't, you can't do a mentorship course and, and suddenly say, well, that individual is exactly how the last person I taught. It never was. The other thing is be open minded. One of the things that's helped me to be, to be successful is my belief system. Now, as we're sitting here watching this thing collapse, the belief system has always been there. Whether I'm doing it live as I am now, or whether I'm doing it as a recording, I know this market was weak. Now, when you believe in it, you, you're, you're quite happy to take a trade, whether it's 100 lots, 500 lots, 1,000 lots, whatever, as long as you don't put yourself out there and, and, and you don't want to get stopped out. But this, this is an obvious one. It's really good, in my opinion, to have a, a PowerPoint presentation to teach you about the basics of VSA. Great. But the best way to learn and, and we'll come to questions in a minute, is to watch it live. And, I've, and, and Tom Williams said that to me years ago. He said, Gav, you're good at what you do. Never shirk that responsibility. Take the trade, show the chart, believe in volume spread analysis. And that's what I've always done. And it's served me incredibly well um, to the point that, you know, we're, we're, we're in a, really nice position at the moment as a company but i do understand that people looking at this and they're seeing this market collapse and they're saying oh there's a high volume bar here and i can completely understand hold on a second the market's just gone up but it's collapsed if you understand supply and demand cause and effect effort versus result and you get those three bits right in your in your mind and also, most importantly, please do go to tradeguider.com, our website, and there's a free resources page on there. I'm sure probably Rolly will send that out, but it's free. I mean, there's, 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 I'm not, we're not selling you anything. There's no charge for anything today at all. If you believe what I've shown you is correct, you will connect with us. I know this, and so do our team. So we don't, uh, I know that these events are, are, are there to, to, to drive revenue to companies. I accept that. We're not going to do that. We're going to say, look, go and look into us. Go and see if this is true. Go and see if this indicator here, right, which is an upthrust, is causing the market to fall live. And if you believe it and you accept it, then come and connect with us. And we have a live chat area and we have other areas that we can connect to. Um, before I finish, I want to make a very, very vital point about anything to do with trading and investing. It involves risk. Okay. And, I, and I'm very much aware of that because I'm managing quite a lot of money. Now, when you deal with that, everyone wants to know, how did you do last month? How did you do last week? How did you do six months ago? They, the, the, the statements that come out are always the same. You know, when you when you look at a statement about risk, it's a risk disclaimer that says past performance is no indication of future performance. You must be aware of that. Because I could tell you and say, sit here in front of hundreds of people and say, oh, yeah, you know, we made a thousand percent last year. And do you know something? People believe that. Forget that. What you need to do is look at the chart, understand what the chart is telling you, and never believe anything that says, unless it's completely, uh, I mean, we, we, we've got a, a fund and it's it's got a NAV. If you can prove and it's audited that that account has made X, Y, Z, fine. But for me, as we look at this chart, I believe in the chart. And so when I've traded these charts i've always shown the principles as as i know rolly knows and traded a, a live account and shown the setup and if you want to trade and invest 
volume spread analysis will change your view of the market. It will change the way you look at it. And once you've got that, you've got it for the rest of your life. So, Rolly, any any questions while this thing's still still tanking? I don't think there was a single question that came up because you were so thorough. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know about your PowerPoint presentation, but we had to shut them down. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to delete, I'm, de I'm deleting the PowerPoint. It was a really, it was a, it, it was a really good, it was a really good PowerPoint presentation. It took me 24 hours to put together. I am and just teasing you, my friend. There are several questions that came up. One of them is this, what platforms do, do your indicators run on? Um, well, pretty much Ninja Trader 8 and 7, uh, Infinity 80 charts, um, Trade, Trade Station. I mean, pretty much most of them. And if, if, if we don't support uh, a platform, you can always email us and say, hey, would, would you would you look at, look at doing this? We have a DLL. So basically what happens, the DLL plugs into a particular platform. Okay. okay. So, if, so that's what I'm using here, what, what, what you're seeing right now. So, so basically when you buy the software, whether it's Smart Center Pro, which is what I'm using, or, or Smart, technology it, it plugs into the platform so basically once you've got so let's say in in this instance i'm using sierra chart which in effect was infinity okay i've just, I've just basically plugged in the dll on, and on the one minute chart you know we, we we can see the entry levels here and and we can we can see the time frames um if you're if you're scalping the market which is what i was doing today then, then the one minute time frame here was was beautiful, wasn't it? I mean, you can see that. So, so you, you it, there's no PowerPoint that could ever convene this. It's much better to look at what happened while we were on air, and and watch what's happened. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you can't you can't do better than that. And I and I've always believed in that, and that's the way I I teach. OK, uh, there were several questions that came up, and I think, folks, you can probably get this from the material on Gavin's website. And uh, I know that we've posted uh, and I'll do a refresher on that what the special link is, but it takes you to his site. But there's information there that delves more into the theory behind volume spread analysis. There were questions. Once again, a lot of people are looking visually at your chart. So there's naturally a curiosity as to what is that dotted line? What drives that? As I had asked you, what are those the thermometer bars? I think is what they're calling. Uh, looking at the VSA, we see that there's it almost looks like the Ichimoku cloud in the background. What is that and how do you use that? So there were a lot of questions about people that were just intrigued by what they're visually seeing on the screen. I think your point is going to be, well, you can forget all that stuff and just look at what you're <laughs> just well, look well, at these indicators, well, well, look at the volume. And well, uh, Rolly, I'll, I'll, I'll give everyone a suggestion uh, and this will help you go to youtube.com forward slash trade guider, which is our YouTube channel and go and look at the last three videos. And two of those videos are taken from trading with our fund. Have a look. Okay. That, 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 that's, I, I, look, I, I, we're limited for time. We've got three minutes left. Ultimately, you know, we have a YouTube channel. We do, we, we do post. Um, this, this is about to go, by the way. This, this is about to go again. So that we're going we're gonna to take out this low, pr pretty much certain. Um, we have that YouTube channel for a reason. Um, these events that we do with you are brilliant and they, they really help us as a company and help you, obviously. Um, but ultimately, if you want to find out more, and it, my wife, Laura, says to me, if you really have a problem sleeping, go and listen to our YouTube channel with Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the last time we talked, Gavin, you had a herd of deer in we, your front we, yard. We, 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 we don't have them anymore. I built a new fence, but it's going now. OK, so there it goes. And, and, and they've just executed another 20 lots. So we're, we're, we're good on this trade. It's a, it, it, it's, it's a great trade. It's a good it's a I'm sorry, guys, if I didn't use the PowerPoint. And I know I know many, many of you will be saying, well, what is VSA? Go to volumespreadanalysis.com, go to YouTube.com, uh, 
um, com forward slash trade guider, and you'll see why this happens. And if you've got that, then you can connect with us through our live chat. Um, but before we finish here in one minute, uh, I just want to thank you, Rolly, and the whole team for, for, for this event, because I think it's very valuable that we do this. Um, and uh, as I said, trading live is much better than trading in hindsight. You know, it's all well and good. You've seen it. OK, you've got it. You, you decide, each and every one of you, how you want to use this knowledge. And uh, again, I thank the whole team um, that have put this together and this event together to, to, to learn. And um, it, it, it's real. I mean, VSA works. So, Rolly, thank you very much indeed for your time. And, Outstanding. Uh, th thoroughly enjoyed it. Absolutely. Gavin, thank you so much for your time. I know that there's a time difference there. I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate the effort that you took to prepare a PowerPoint presentation in case you needed it. But Trading Live is always fantastic. Being able to see what's going on on the right-hand side of the screen uh, is very, very helpful. And we do appreciate your time. Always love having you on. Best to you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Great. Thanks a lot. Cheers, everyone. Take care. Cheers. Bye, cheers. Guys. Okay, and so once again, that was Gavin Holmes with Trade Guider, and you're looking right now, you can see the special offer that he had available, and it's not really a special. You can go to westmarktrading.com forward slash homes, and it'll take you right to his site where you can see the kind of packages and information education that he has made available to you. And then once again, his team is wide open. You can contact him. He mentioned he has webinars on a frequent basis that you can come join to learn more about what he does and how he does it. And once again, we like mixing it up. We like having people with an international flair. I think, uh, you know, part of the team here, people, uh, we, you know, we had Kruger from South Africa. We had we had Gavin Holmes here from England. I know that the next speaker that we have coming up that we'll talk about in a minute also is offshore. And so it's great to bring that perspective to things. We're running right on time. And you know what? I think